y'all this is your girl Tashin and I'm back with another video how you feeling how you doing I hope you're doing great <laughs> yes you see the title live in Norway what it's really like uh, I'm just curious I don't know much about Norway so I haven't and I haven't been doing a lot of Norway videos I need to do more so uh, let's get straight to it what is it really like living in Norway? These points are obviously very generalizing, um, but just go with me on this one, okay? We are all handymen and we like to do things ourselves. If it's painting, building a cabin, what? chopping down a Christmas tree, fixing a light bulb, doing the plumbing. When I've been in other countries and lived in other countries, it seems like it's more of a culture of calling someone. I feel like I fit in then. Cause this girl right here like to do things myself. I always try to do things myself. If I can't if I can't do something myself, I'll the next step I'll do I'll go online and try to figure it out. If I can't do it then if it comes to that point then I'll call somebody. But I like doing stuff myself. I love it. I love it. Especially Especially um, doing things around the house. I, I just love it. Who is an expert in that area, but here we try to do everything ourselves. We have like 10 celebrities in our way. That's obviously an exaggeration. But we just have a handful of celebrities that are in magazines, on TV, in movies, and they kind of rotate on who they use for that. We don't have paparazzi, and if you see a celebrity in the street, it's kind of like, oh, that's that guy I see every day at the grocery store, the guy that hooked up with my friend, the guy that's the son of my mom's friend. <laughs> Damn. It's a very small country. I would say- Wow, only 10 celebrities. We have celebrities here in New York too, but we don't go crazy or anything like that. So it all, I guess it all depends on where you live, I guess. But that's cool though, 10 celebrities, they just go to the supermarket and nobody don't really like bother them like that. That's cool. If I was a celebrity, I think that's where I want to live. We're very in tuned with nature. Obviously, this has changed a lot, but to some degree, I would say that we're still very active outdoors. Oh. It's still a huge part of our culture to go tenting, hiking, skiing, fishing, running in the woods. We have cabins up on the mountains, mm -hmm. down by the sea. Trick your brain into learning more. Listening is so much faster and effective for a majority of students. When I'm having a hard time focusing, I can listen. We, um, in the woods, we take ice baths, we go snowboarding, ice skating, mm. you name it. And when we're in nature, we kind of know how to move about it. We know how to start a fire. Wow. Other people do. I clearly don't know how to do that. We bring with us a stun chicken, waffelröre. And we cook up food in nature. Speaking of food, we don't eat out much. It's very expensive and it's just not a part of our culture really. We like to cook at home, we like to cook from the bottom up. What? And when we go out, when we go to school, to work, traveling, we bring matbake. The winter is very long, very dark, very cold, very mm -hmm. sad. So depending on I, could, I just felt chill. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't like, I can't deal with the cold. That's why these places, if I visit, it'll have to be like in the summer. It has to be warm. I, I can't, I'm sorry. I cannot go to these places where it's cold because I don't like the cold. I really don't. On where you live in Norway, if you live above the polar circle, for example, where I'm originally from, Lofoten, the sun doesn't come above the horizon mm -hmm. during winter so it's like dark 24 7 mm -mm. and the opposite when it's summer so the sun is above the horizon 24 7 so we call that the midnight sun during summer and i like that Merkitia, i like that yeah the dark <laughs> times during winter so we have four seasons during the year but winter starts during fall and ends during spring. So we kind of have winter six months a year, if it's a bad year, most years. 
basically. And it can go down to like minus 20 degrees Celsius during winter and plus 30 degrees Celsius during summer. Oh. Uh, but more kind of normal is minus 10 degrees, I guess, during winter and plus 20 during summer. So this. Y'all will see me in the summer. You'll see me in the summer. It's a random one, but I just, it's something that came to mind. We drink a lot of milk. I think we're one of the top countries in how much milk people drink. Cow's milk, that is. Wow. It's kind of shoved down our throats from a very young age. As I said, we don't have like warm lunch uh, in school, so you need to bring your own lunch, but they do serve milk. Wait, why do you have to bring your own lunch? I thought lunch was free. Now I'm confused. Well, I was watching a video. I think that was in, um, where was that? That was in Sweden, I think, where lunch is free. Mm. I said before, people are very closed off, introverts, not very welcoming to strangers, and they keep to their group of people. So it's not very uncommon that you have the same friends from when you're young throughout your entire life. So if you're an immigrant, good luck. We love the sun, so we travel abroad. She said if you're an immigrant, good luck. I think I'll feel weird going there now. Now, now, I, don't, now I don't know if I want to go there. Because I don't want to feel lonely. If I go there, I don't want it to feel like... <laughs> I used to meet new people, so I guess Norway is not the place to go to then. I don't want people looking at me like, you know, and just keep it moving. What if I say hi? Like, would people say hi back to me? Or they would just look at me like, and then just keep it moving. Yeah, I don't know about this one. <laughs> as much as we possibly can. So we take very exotic, yeah. adventurous trips to Granka every year, where we meet up with the 350,000 other Norwegian people that go there every year, uh, that also needs a drink and some vitamin D. It's very safe in Norway, so you could leave your stuff outside, mm. your expensive skis, your backpack, your stuff, running into the bathroom and come out again and it wouldn't be stolen. This sounds very posh, but I forgot my Louis Vuitton backpack at the tram this summer and it took me a few hours before I could get to it and because I didn't have a car I could follow the tram so it, whatever. And yeah, a few hours later it was still there, mm. all the stuff was still inside, cash, my wallet, some jewelry. So yeah, it's not uncommon to not lock your door, to leave your stuff outside, obviously I wouldn't gamble. On doing that but it's pretty safe so you can't really have a car in Oslo anymore but it's very expensive with parking and taxes and wow. it's not really parking anymore in Oslo but the um, public transportation is really good we got like metro trams trains buses uh, those electrical scooters uh, city bikes so that's with MailChimp, you can design more engaging marketing assets in no time at all, thanks to our AI-powered creative assistant. It's usually how people get around people, usually take public transportation, walk or a bike to their work and to school, and to basically get around in general. To get around other parts of Norway, you can take a train or take a car or a plane. We drink tap water. You know that expensive water bottle called Voss that you see around the world? That is Norwegian tap water. With all the nature. I used to drink that that brand years ago, but that that it's very expensive. I don't buy it anymore because it, it's like it's just water. It's expensive. Like. <laughs> and activities around us we still have gym memberships baked goods pastries breads are different than any other country I look good. it's just better mm. we drive to Sweden to buy cheap tobacco alcohol meat candy and soda so most people in Norway stay the same place throughout their entire life 
It's also very common to own your own place and we're also one of the top countries in the world that renovates the most and kind of redecorate and buy new furniture and fix it up. Mm. And as I said, we like to do it ourselves. And we also love those extreme makeover home edition programs. Or is that just me? I just love them. Oh, they're so much fun. We still haven't gotten control over the polar bears. Um, so it's not uncommon to see a polar bear out in the street. Um, so just don't look it in the eye if you see one. We talk a lot about the weather in Norway. And I bet that most of you from other countries are like, oh yeah, we do that too. But no, then you haven't been to Norway. We talk a lot about it. But it's not without reason because the weather is unpredictable and crazy here so a typical life for a person i can tell trust me i can tell <laughs> in norway you go to school from age six until 20 i believe then you take a gap year where you travel the world go partying then you go and study you buy an apartment you get a job most likely the same as what your parents did and what all your friends are doing then you hang out with friends on the weekends and you meet a partner through tinder or at monkey bar in oslo and then you get engaged and the next year you get married and the year after you have a baby and you live happily ever after was she throwing shades when she was showing that picture <laughs> but anyway so i know some of y'all probably will agree some of y'all might disagree uh let me know I don't know nothing about Norway, so you gotta let me know, okay? Because I can sit here and believe everything she's saying. But you gotta let me know. And let me know if it's a friendly place, because from what, from what she's saying, it's like, if you're an immigrant and you go there, you you can forget about it. <laughs> you're gonna be going out there lonely on your own. Because <laughs> she said everybody stick together, you know, they, you know, they're not the type of people to just come out and just talk to you. If they don't know you, they're going to keep it moving. So, yeah. Well, anyway, comment below if you agree with her. Uh, if there's any other videos about Norway you would like me to react to, comment below and let your girl know. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and subscribe to her channel too. And, uh, yeah, and I see I love the people. Take care of yourself. Bye and peace.